Hey everybody, Josh from Silka here with a super exciting announcement, uh, what actually was going to be our most exciting announcement of 2025. Um, we're announcing two amazing electric mini pumps, but before I go into that launch, I have to say today is April 24th, 2025, um, and we have had to take the most impossibly hard uh, and painful decision. These new, really, I think, groundbreaking, industry-changing products, they're going to be available as of today, globally, but not in the USA. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, current regime has uh, put in place uh, essentially a, a tariff regime that makes it untenable to bring this product to the U.S. market. There is just no way we, we can bring it in and sell it, and there's absolutely no way, unfortunately, because we tried to make the product in America uh, under the current rules and regulations. So we are all hoping, uh, against all hope, I think, but we are hoping desperately that things change and that, um, yeah, you know, maybe someone with the pockets of uh, Tim Apple or, uh, you know, one of the other buddies of the, of the current administration can get these HTS codes uh, cleared from the tariffs like they have with phones and computers and flat screen TVs and things like that. But uh, at, at the moment, there's just no way we can do this product um, in the USA. So rest of this video, sorry, my USA customers, which is a lot of you, um, but let's talk about this product and let's talk about what the rest of the world is going to get that those of us here will not. I will say um, for US customers, there are a hundred of these that we're going to release on the website. Um, and when they're gone, they're gone. That's all we've, uh, all we've got. Unfortunately, those hundred came in. The tariff is so high, essentially, that we are paying the retail value of the inflator uh, by the time we, we bring the product in and pay the tariff. So you, know, that's, you, can't, you can't spend $150 on something that you're selling for $150. Okay, so there we have it. Let's uh, get past that. Hopefully we can, you know, things change and, uh, and get to the exciting part, which is how awesome and amazing these products are. But, you know, we are an inflation brand at our core and Silka, you know, gets a lot of credit for being like really the first track pump, right? The tube with the handle, they were the first in the 1920s to put a gauge on a pump. Um, they were the first to make a portable a pump with the pista for, uh, you know, kind of laying flat under the seat of a car. Um, one of the first to do CO2 in the early 80s. We've talked about that in previous videos. Um, I mean, pretty novel. 87, 88, give or take, probably in the U.S. market by 89. So, you know, we were really excited to, I think, be upping the level in this category quite a bit. People have been selling these pumps similar to this on Amazon and places for about two years now. We've definitely been keeping our eye on it, wondering kind of when uh, the technology would be mature enough that you could really make a Silka quality product. And we spent the last two years working really hand in hand uh, with a couple of Asian suppliers to, uh, to get it there. And the secret sauce really came to us through two things. Drones, right? So, you know, drones continue to get better and better and bigger and bigger and pack more power into these little micro motors. Uh, so we had the idea of using the motor, electric motors out of a drone to drive a bell crank type pumping mechanism. And then also the soft pack lithium battery cells, which have really evolved uh, over the last handful of years um, to a pretty amazing space that you can actually, like this, this one has four cells, this one has two. Um, th these are cells used in some of the really high end um, cell phones out there right now. And with some tweaks in terms of, you know, how quickly they can drain and things like that, we can use that to power this very high powered uh, drone motor. So you get these very fast pumping speeds. Um, you know, it's super high efficiencies. I mean, the, the technology is advancing so quickly that I think when we designed the packaging for these, we said three and a half and nine CO2s equivalent. And honestly, by the time the product is shipping, we're at more than four CO2s capacity and more than 10 CO2s capacity because at the last minute, we were able to get a slightly uh, more potent battery cell in there than we were than we had available to us uh, three, four months ago when we were designing the package. So, I mean, there's a crazy rate of development in this space, which is super exciting. Uh, so let's talk about them. These are the Soka Electricos. 
this is the Electrico Micro and Electrico Ultimate. So Electrico Micro is meant to fit in a seat bag. Um, for size scale, I have pulled out my handy uh, AirPods. You see it is slightly thicker than an AirPod case, uh, slightly larger area this way than an Electrico case. One of the things I am really proud of the team and the design on here is you know, we wanted minimal uh, sticky outy bits on the top. It seems like all the ones that are hitting the market these days seem to have this big sticky outy chuck sort of thing makes it damn hard to pack into a saddlebag. And so we went super, super minimalistic here. Uh, and it's amazing to think you can really put all of this tech uh, into this thing. It's super lightweight, full metal construction. Uh, so you want to say, you know, what makes us unique to some of the other products on the market, full uh, cartridge bearing construction, no bushings. Um, everything on the inside is rebuildable and replaceable because it's Silka. Um, so the actual pumping head bell crank mechanism is replaceable, and then the uh, chuck gasket is also replaceable. We've also chosen to do this, again, to not have the sticky outy bit. It's pressed only in this configuration with a female Schrader thread. So you can thread in uh, a tube that we've got. So we've got a small hose extender, or you can thread in any other Silka chuck. This is my favorite combination as we've been developing this, is actually to use a Silka Schradero, which uh, of our it's a less known products. It's a quick disconnect for Schrader. Um, you can actually screw that directly into either Electrico um, all the way down, kind of make it look like some of the other sticky outy uh, ones on the market, but it gives you a quick push on, push off, quick disconnect for uh, car tires, things like that for your auto inflation. Um, so pair it up with a Schradero makes for a powerful package, but it comes with a hose to uh, get you to a Schrader compatibility. That hose also has a thread-on Presta chuck in case you're using TPU tubes because the heat generated by these little pumps uh, can damage the TPU valve cores. Uh, and then it also comes with an inflation needle and a little waterproof uh, carry-along bag that you can wrap it in. You know, one of the challenges with this product and one of the things I'm super proud of with our team is uh, heat. Heat and noise are really the big, the big issues. And we developed, I think, a pretty clever solution here that we are actually breathing the intake air for the pump is breathed in through the USB-C. And we're using, I mean, it's almost like an F1 car, uh, if you're familiar with the F-duct that was uh, popular a few years back. We are actually have created a, a cooling channel that runs from the USB-C, actually uses the intake air to cool the electronics cycles it up through the pump and then into the pumping mechanism up here. Uh, so it's actually cooling itself with its own intake air. And that's allowed us to make, uh, again, the thing extremely lightweight um, without getting incredibly hot. Um, it's also allowed us with our all metal construction, uh, we've added some additional um, sound damping materials, bumpers, uh, and even down to the design of the case was actually designed using some uh, acoustic design software. Um, essentially, these ribs are on the inside and the outside. They are out of phase to each other, and they are all at uh, prime number angles uh, to essentially eat up the sound waves and reduce the amount of sound attenuation across the casing. Um, we're somewhere in the order of seven to eight decibels quieter than similar sized pumps of kind of within a similar power range or products on the market. So, you know, is it still loud? It's still louder than I think, you know, we all want it to be, but an eight decibel reduction in sound, that's pretty significant. Um, and a lot of hard work went into that with both of these products. Okay, so Electrico Micro fits in your pocket, your seat bag, wherever. Um, he has no gauge but he is push button, you push him, he actually uh, lights up to a color that will give you the battery level, right? So you can see how high the, uh, high or low the battery is getting um, with that. And then when you run him, he will run up to and turn off at 72 PSI. Why 72 PSI? Well, if you're on hookless, uh, hookless, tubeless, modern hookless rims, they all have a mandatory 72 PSI limit. We have seen uh, in our testing, as we've talked about in other videos, some of them blow off as low as 77, 78 PSI. So for safety, this has a 72 PSI limit. You know, this is the little guy that is going to get you home from your ride. And, um, you know, having, you know, one PSI accuracy in there 
is not as important as getting home. If you're on skinny road tires, run them up to 72. Otherwise, you just hold the button as it inflates till you feel like you're good and you can get yourself home. Like I said, this is the battery equivalent in here will output equivalent air to four CO2 cartridges. Okay, so, you know, this guy and two tubes and two patches and you're the equivalent of four CO2 cartridges to get yourself home. So we're pretty pleased with that. Uh, Ultimate, this guy has 10 CO2 cartridges worth of power and a 1% accurate gauge. Uh, we actually use some of the uh, algorithm from the truth gauge, which sadly is no longer on the market because that vendor uh, shut down, the U.S. gauge maker. Um, but we use some of the algorithm developed there. This is the only inflator in the market that self-zeroes to the ambient uh, pressure and temperature when you turn it on. So one of the challenges with a lot of these devices we found was you go to Leadville and they're off uh, by almost two PSI because they were calibrated and zeroed at the factory, uh, you know, somewhere in China, and then you've taken them up to altitude and now they don't read correctly. This guy, when you turn him on, he actually thinks for a second um, and then zeroes himself out to the local zero, and he is aware of the temperature, pressure, and humidity. Um, so when you start, you are getting the most accurate readings possible. So. Uh, you can set your air pressure starting at 6 PSI is the minimum uh, accurate pressure reading for this guy. Uh, you set him up, you can put him on the valve, hit go, and he will pump up to that pressure and stop. So um, the other interesting thing with these, because you're pumping into a very tiny volume, the 1 PSI accuracy is actually plus 0 minus 1. Um, because you have to overcome the pressure uh, to open the Presta valve with each uh, with, with each inflation. So the other thing to know is you will always be a PSI or maybe two below the set pressure um, on the first run, and then if you want to hit him again to run him, or you can set him one PSI high, uh, will be the same difference. Interestingly, if you run with the, the hose, or you put a chuck in it, like our, uh, I've got here a hero chuck. This is a popular one. We've actually been running these with uh, EF, professional team in Europe and they've been loving this combination for disc wheels that you can you know, essentially put them up in the disc wheel, put them on. The increased air volume actually gets you to that 1% accuracy, or plus zero, minus one um, as it sets. Again, fully rebuildable um, components, which will be for sale. I think at, at the go live, um, we will be selling replacement uh, rubber head gaskets. They are a special high temperature uh, rubber because these things do make a lot of heat. They're doing a lot of work in a tiny space. So you'll notice it looks like a 323 gasket, but it is actually a special uh, high temperature uh, TPU gasket in there. It's special just for these pumps and will be available as an aftermarket part uh, specifically for these pumps. Again, uh, seven to eight decibels quieter than competing product in the market today. And again, using our, I think, clever breathing through the USB-C with this custom cooling path, uh, like an F1 car, to run through there and keep the thing cool. Pricing, you know, you guys always kill me on pricing because Silka's expensive. Yes, Silka is always expensive. These are the most accurate uh, version of a product like this on the market. They're the only full metal construction version of a product like this in the market. But the reality is they're not that much more expensive. You're talking uh, $120, I think $119.95 for the little guy, and $149.95 for the big guy. So really not too much above uh, some of the lower end products in the market or some of the, we'll just call them the cheaper products in the market today, but I think you are going to appreciate the performance, the quiet, uh, you know, again, the focus on the noise, vibration, and harshness reduction uh, th that's really gone into this thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, top, top performer, even this guy, 10 seconds, let me break this, I mean, look at that. It's still not that much bigger than an AirPod case. Uh, ridiculous how fast these technologies are moving. So, like I said, um, available today everywhere in the world except the USA. Hopefully, uh, tariff situation changes and uh, we, we can change that, but our little tiny company just cannot afford to pay the tariff um, that they have put in place, which is quite a ludicrous number uh, at, at this moment. And so, we're just going to have to wait, be patient, and uh, 
hopefully things change. Anyway, what questions, thoughts, comments do you guys have? Please drop them in the comments uh, and questions below. We always love hearing from you. We always love answering them. And you know, we will always turn them into a FAQ video uh, to try to get caught up. And then with that, I'm sure you'll have even more. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.